We're Eamon and Beck, and we love living in our van. In fact, in the past two years of living in this tiny home on wheels, we can count on one hand the number of times we've checked into a hotel or Airbnb. But every once in a while, there's a good reason or two to upgrade our square feet. For the first week in Portugal, we have fun playing house and with all the extra time we gain by not searching for fresh water or a hot shower, we managed to get up to a heck of a lot. Who are these people? People. JT. <laughs> Rebecca's sister. sister. Bruce's mom, AKA. <laughs> JT Van. Bruce's dad. Another reason we're in this Airbnb is because Trinity required a full service B. So um, we're Ubering everywhere. We're city dwellers. What's a full service B? Um, <laughs> you're trying to touch me, not knowing. Something to do with an oil change, plus brakes, plus transmission check, maybe? We hopped in the car and drove 20 minutes into the city center to check out the Thieves Market. Now the myth is, these sellers, they stole all their goods. Oh, good. Nah, it's all good. Oh, the lady, man. Nah, she's got sunnies. Are you a journalist? She's already got sunnies. Are you yeah. a journalist? On the blog, on YouTube. Blog? Yeah. YouTube. You know YouTube? So make, 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 make. Try it on. Hey. Try it on. Hey. Try it on. Come on. <laughs> Talk about some low hanging fruit. <laughs> you pick Aladdin, bro. If anyone can get away with wearing that with no judgment, it'd be aiming. <laughs> I don't know, dude. They're a little, They're a little, little much? saggy. Okay. This market takes place every Tuesday and Saturday, and it is very much a flea market. So unless you're looking to just kind of tinker around and find something, I don't know, a little unique that you don't quite need. Uh, it's I so don't know. true. I don't know if you need this market. It's so true, but there is a lot of cool stuff yeah, here. Yeah, it's fun. Like, it's fun to go walk around and chat and bum dia and... Get harassed. <laughs> yeah. The market was great, but we are gonna move on. We're gonna take you quickly to one of our favorite neighborhoods we checked out on the first day we were here, called Alphama. Welcome to Alphama. This is the oldest standing neighborhood in Lisbon. In 1755, there was a massive earthquake that turned into a tsunami and took out a lot of the lower parts, the old... My mic just fell. Okay, do you want to start no, again? No, I'm good. Okay. Um, all the old houses and things, so they've been reconstructed. This is the only neighborhood that is as it was pre-1755. So it's very old, the streets are very small, you don't see much car traffic or anything like that. Oh, well. One euro. It's a liqueur made from cherry, and I think it's more traditional to take it from a shot glass of chocolate, or that's more touristy, I don't know. She's so upset, she's staring at me. <laughs> bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia, bon dia. Now the really tricky part of Alfma is finding your way outside of this little neighborhood. The streets are really tight, not really labeled, so it's a... Uh, it's gonna be an adventure. You pass one shop that looks same same. Another shop. I mean, I'm cheating. I have Google Maps and I still can't figure it out. <laughs> and we're back at the pad. We are a little bit crunched for time. We're supposed to check out at 12. The cleaners are here. We need to wrap things up and then we're gonna go pick up the van. You're probably wondering, well, Eamon, why is it so quiet here? Siesta. Oh, I knew it. I said to you, call them beforehand, and when you said no, I felt like you already knew as well <laughs> that we weren't picking it up at noon. I'm just like this for 5 p.m. Oh, Here's no, really? Yeah. No, I'm feeling good about 5 p.m. So on the bright side, there is a restaurant that we've actually wanted to go to in this area, so we just called an Uber. 
it's called Miss Saigon and it made it on a list someone sent me for the top vegan restaurants in all of Europe. And it's just like this little dive. So we're super excited to check that one out. We'll check you there. Oh my gosh. No. Huge bummer. Yeah, let's go sit down here. This place was so hip it hurts too. They only open from noon till four. Uh... New plan. Ooh. So as you can see, we found a pizza place for lunch. Thanks Mel for finding this for us. Gluten free, vegan cheese. Happy campers. Buen provecho. Okay, you guys ready, man? Yep. Back to the van. Where's JT? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> All After right. a two hour unexpected wait, we're about to get the bill. Oh, I think 800 euro. We're talking euro, yeah. yeah. 2,000 euro. <gasps> <laughs> if it's over that, I will have a heart attack. My hope is 950 euro, no more. I'm gonna go with 1350 euro. So the I'm bill. Gonna sit down, I'm gonna sit down. The bill's very high. Okay. It's um, higher than all of us. By 500 euros. Wasted. Wow. The, the labor cost was 600 euros alone. Wow. You gotta pay your bills with love, kids. In the end, the van needed a lot more work than we thought. We had all new brakes, as well as some issues with the steering column. But we're all sorted, and these guys did hook it up. We're done spending money. We're leaving this parking lot until next week. <laughs> and we're leaving. We're going to Lagos, which is like, uh, mas o menos dos, tres horas. I'm only doing Spanish, I'm not doing Portuguese. And I've noticed. <laughs> Our goal of today is to fit in just as much as possible in the Algarve area from sunrise to sunset. And it begins now. This was just a quick 200 meter paddle from the beach. Yeah, whatever they tell you about needing to take a boat tour is obviously wrong. There are people swimming with rafts, people just kind of getting here on their own and it's amazing to be here for sunrise. Up you get, Tiger. <laughs> okay, vámonos. Whatever you do, do not turn off the camera. Okay. We're coming in pretty hot. Okay, so what? We're good, we're good. We're gonna get washed in three, two, oh, here we yeah. go. Okay. Riding it at night. Nice. Wow. Off. Dismount. Dismount. <laughs> Come on, baby. 
area is really tight because we got all of our winter gear up here now so we really need to stand on here but Pedro's roof rack is still holding up in case you were wondering <laughs> it needs a new paint job though just to give you guys some perspective you can see all the tours are leaving now it's about 9 a.m. we've Ooh. already come and gone it's only yeah. 9 a.m. which is awesome yeah what are the kids doing just getting changed come on children <laughs> We've been making breakfast for everyone most mornings, like a coconut yogurt with fruit and all that kind of they, good they, stuff. They know what we eat for breakfast. They've, they've seen. You guys know what I make for breakfast? It's my specialty. <laughs> Every single day. <laughs> yes, and coffee, but we thought it'd be fun. We're doing a full day out today, so let's go hit up some coffee and breakfast. I hope they have oat milk. I hope they have kisses. One more. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I disappeared. Benito. cliff jumping but it's all about seeking discomfort and you have to do one thing every day that scares you I'm nervous I'm like I can't even look at you guys <laughs> okay let's go not sure we chose the optimum foot attire here And good morning to you. Hey. Hi. What happened to you, buddy? Well, I have to say that our siesta with the blind down literally felt like the middle of the night. Total game changer. So I think, guys, as you can see, there's a common theme in the videos now. We are full on siesta people. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the beautiful pluses of checking into an Airbnb for this week too is that we can do that in the middle of the day without sweating buckets and buckets. I mean having a shower and Get rinsing off out. and using a white towel for your hair. Oh. There are a few different benefits but we've been enjoying our time with Mel and JT. JT's Above a bit of a, an AC addict. <laughs> he likes He's it getting cold. you into some bad habits. Yeah. Wow, look at the vein. I'm clearly happy from my nap. Like this is my happy vein, everybody. Okay, so the benefit of getting up at five in the morning is that even when you have a siesta, you have a whole second half of your day. So let's get up and crush it. Let's go. This place was about fifty bucks per person. Uh, very nice though, we've got a second floor balcony, full kitchen, TV, Netflix, the deals. Hello, friends. Hola. Hola, chica. Come on. Hola. How you going? Good. Did you guys have a nap too? Yeah. A little shorter one. Beautiful. We're ready for the day. Where are we going, kid? We are headed to Old Town Lagos. Well done! Yeah, we're gonna check out the scene. We haven't really done it yet. Melissa? And we're gonna go to the Lighthouse for sunset. I'm really excited. Yeah, Melissa's straight up ready for Burning Man. Looking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are you guys the next vlog? Maybe. I don't know if anyone wants to watch me though. That's the thing. Oh, you're a good looking man. I would watch you all night long. Oh, oh. These two are getting spicy all the time. <laughs> it's family channel, guys. I don't know how to hold it near my face, so I feel like I'm looking down <laughs> the whole time. There it is. This, like this. Yeah, that's right. how you want to do it. But Ten you four. Can, you can unrecord. Okay. We are a 
officially passing on the duties of the vlog to Mel and JT for the rest of this evening. Yeah. So Mel, let's go. We're just, you no, know, hold it. Get, get what the are whole we doing? experience. There you go. Come okay, on. guys. So we are in <laughs> Old Tel Lago. It's just walking around before sunset because we want to explore, right? Exactly, Mel. Did you there know exactly. that cork is the number one export in Portugal? <laughs> Wow. wow! Is it actually? Is it the number one, or should I fact check that? Because I think I we should fact check that. Yeah, I feel like that's just a JT fact. And here we go. Premium product here, number one export. I'll be here all day. Not even in the top five. <laughs> Number one is cars. Google, dude. How many? <laughs> How many sources did you check? Google. P processed petroleum oils, automotive car parts, and footwear brackets leather. Ouch. 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 Try All I've seen is cork, vlog. bro. All I've seen is cork. arrived at the most peaceful, private, little spot cliffs to watch the sunset. I can hardly believe I found this place. We're just kidding, it's really touristy, <laughs> but it is beautiful. All it ever takes is a five minute walk off the beaten track and you can have a spot all to yourself. So, let's journey on. And there we go, we got our own little picnic. Oh, uh, this is what life is all about. Take the five minutes and explore. Back at the Airbnb, and we're taking full advantage of this amazing oven setup. It's Pizza night! We in Portugal, but we eat like we in Italian. <laughs> now, you guys have probably never seen us make these, <laughs> but Beck and I self proclaim pizza professionals. Olive, sun dried tomato, green peppers, mushroom, cheese, a little bit of dusting of oregano, and chili flakes. And the cheese we're trying today is Real Life. Um, it comes as a block mozzarella and it shreds down pretty decent. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I like, can you just go? Come on, JT, get in there. Good morning, everybody. We have been up, had a beautiful cup of coffee, a great workout with our fitness coach, Melissa, my sister. And we've just checked out of the Airbnb. We're going on our last adventure to the beach as a squad of four. Everyone ready? Yeah! I'm back on making healthy breakfast for the squad. Okay, we probably shouldn't have hung out in the van and made breakfast. This beach is now packed. It's not even 11 o'clock. Thank you. So this is what happens when we leave the boys to plan. We are down definitely like a pedestrian only street. It's okay, that nice man said we go straight ahead, so. Hopefully Trinity will get out here unscathed and all these beautiful pedestrians who are out for their Friday stroll also make it out alive. If there's one thing Eamon asks me to do every single place we stop, it's to go go-karting. So it's exciting to go go-karting. <laughs>
the podium winners here, seeing as I'm fourth, I'll be the interviewer this evening, this afternoon. What do you think you can improve for next time to really just amp up to the next level? Uh, you know, it really is about just not breaking, just gonna let the car ride it out and feel I'm real good about that. What can you give as a piece of advice to someone like me who is in fourth place there? Yeah, as a Amen, new driver coming from uh, an experienced driver like myself, I would think that uh, coming into the corners, you think drifting might be a little bit faster. I later found out not the case. So I'm gonna improve upon that next time. Uh, hey, 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 JT, uh, it's Eamon, otherwise known as, uh, from TSN, otherwise known as first place, uh, yeah. car victorian. Um, okay. Uh, how do you feel about uh, losing two times in a row to uh, Eamon? He, he's quite the fierce uh, competitor. Yeah, I think the proof's in the pudding, and if you check the timesheet, uh, clearly I uh, won there. So, you know, whatever. It's all factual, but can't beat the facts. How do you feel about spinning out your sister-in-law there? Um, you know what? The spin out was a little bit dramatic. We, um, we were really going hard in the paint and uh, you know, I really boxed her out so she had nothing left to do. And uh, hopefully we can get a replay on that one. Thanks to my team at uh, India Force, Force India for my two second box. Really bringing that time down really <laughs> helped with my score. All right, uh, tuning into baseball, let's go. Apologies for the audio, there are some actual racers out on the track right now. Hey. I mean, professional, getting paid to do it. You'll be there soon. Anywho, uh, the four of us have had a little snack. Now we're gonna cruise on back to Lisbon because these guys have to catch a flight tomorrow. It's already been a week. Today the world doesn't feel quite the same. Freedom! I'm just kidding, I'm gonna miss them. I'm, I'm tearing up pretty hard here. I'm really gonna miss them. We're so lucky to have my brother and then my sister visit us this summer. It's made it so special. Where's Eamon's family? How come they don't come yeah, visit? Yeah, seriously! Eamon's family, why haven't you come to visit us? You guys are welcome anytime. But honestly, I loved having them, but I missed living in the van. Totally. Last night, Eamon and I slept in the van while Mel and JT checked into a hotel, and we both had an amazing sleep. We super oh, missed the even van. Even though it was sketchy, and there was this guy who's like, "Do you want me to watch the van?" Yeah. It's free to park here, but if you want me to watch the van, <laughs> we're excited to be back in the van full time and continue this journey. We will catch you guys next week. See you Sunday. I'm back little last minute thing to tell you guys. My sister brought out something that we've been designing and working on and we're really excited about them. So hold on. Tell them, baby. Boom. We got two new stickers for you. We want to give them for free. We don't want to charge you for stickers. Um, so what I did on my Instagram is we give away both stickers if you order anything on Chai Walla and you guys went ham, you loved it. So we're gonna extend that for the next 48 hours from now. If you order anything on ChaiWallaChai.com, we're gonna include both stickers for free. So this is what the sticker looks like. We've got Eamon in the driver's seat, me in the passenger seat, little Eamon in back. I think it's really cute, so. Okay, we're in a bus yeah. stand, we gotta go. All right, let's go. When will I be okay? When will I be myself?